they do it in the in rows of three. And I'm going to start giving you a lineup right now, even though they're not on the racetrack yet, or on the front straightaway yet. On the pole, the number 69, Dangerous Dan Pichella out of Long Beach. Next to him, won the last race, the triple seven, that's Rome, Roma Bahanic out of Riverside. On the outside of row number one, the 42, David Stites out of Canyon Lake. That is one stout front row. Second row on the inside, the 55K, Cameron Pierce out of Riverside. In the middle of that row, the 28, David Urain out of Menifee. And on the outside of row number two, it's Austin Jaramillo. He is from Winchester. Row number three on the inside, it's going to be car number eight. That's Jim Denny out of Hemet. In the middle of the row, it'll be the number 112, Kale Skillman out of Riverside. And the 83, Sean Gardner from Canyon Lake. Go back to the third row, or the fourth row of three cars. On the inside, it'll be the number two. That's that bright yellow number two, Roger Smith out of Riverside. The 115, Bryce Wade from Menifee. And on the outside of row number four, it's car 36, Lanny Savage from Colton. Row number five on the inside, the number 46 car, Cameron Fisher out of Corona. In the middle of the row, it's James Pfeiffer out of Oak Hills. And on the outside of that row, the triple eight K, Taylor Denny from Hammett. In the sixth row, it's the number 25 car. That's Albert Corrado out of Riverside. Next row, Next to Albert will be Sean Urain, the number 23, and on the outside of that row, the Pug Mom, car 50, out of Colton. Row number 7 on the inside, it'll be the number 88 car, that's Corey Denny out of Reno Valley. Next to him, the 79J, Jonathan Cruz out of Nuevo. And on the outside of that row from Lake Elsinore, he could be fun to watch from there, it is Larry Lewis. Larry will be driving the number 85. The next and last row, that's row number eight on the inside. It's a 928 from Quail Valley, Karen Pack. In the center of that row, John Stevens out of Quail Valley in the number six. And on the outside, the 68 of Josh Tilly. That's that bright gold card. It's kind of cool looking. And rounding out the field, it'll be the number 97S. That's Owen Smallbrook out of Menifee. Barry. You've had kind of a peaceful night tonight. I thought it was going to be chaos. We'll bring that blonde babe back from early in the year. She'll give you your money for a workout there. Steve Russell, Kevin Winters up in the starter stand. You guys ready to start counting them down once again? Then let's do it. Five, four, three. Mini stock main event. And they go out on the half mile for the start of this one. One of the guys already cut the corner short. 75 car, that's Pfeiffer right in the crash wall already. Now they go around that big tire, head toward the infield. Bahanic, your leader. Second place, Dangerous Dan. Third spot, it is Jaramillo. Fourth spot, David Urain. Fifth spot, it is the 55 of Perry. That good looking two car getting beat around a little bit. Oh, he just got clobbered in the door. Ain't too pretty anymore. One lap down, Jaramillo goes around the outside of Pacella, move him up to the second place spot. Fire everybody still in it. Now here comes Urain, the number 28. Urain takes over second. Perry running in third. Jaramillo fourth. Pichella fifth. And Perry goes to the inside of Urain. But Jaramillo goes three abreast. He goes by both of them. Move to 713 to second. Good start to this one. Perry knocked that pylon over early in the race going into turn number one. He keeps trying to cut the infield right there. Back to the infield, Urain trying to go to the inside of Jaramillo. Jaramillo all over the leader. Danger stand still running in fifth. Back in sixth is the number eight, Jim Denny. Around goes the leader. 
Mahanik goes around. Jaramillo gets stuck on him. New leader's going to be your reign. Perry to second. Dangerous stand to third. Fourth spot, Jim Denny. Now fifth with Skillman. Bahanik, the, pat, the early leader, is sixth. Lanny Savage running seventh. And the guy who got the worst of that is Jaramillo. He may be done. Let's see. Pulls it down near the crash wall. See if he can get it refired. But he's going to get lapped even if he gets it refired. Dangerous Dan just clobbered one of the big tires on the infield. There's your leader, the number 28. And we go red. We'll count them down. We're ready right now, so let's count them down. Five, four. is your leader. Second place car spins out the 115. That's legal. It's contact. Half straightaway lead for the 28 of David Urain. Got the lone Pinto here tonight running way slow up in the corner. I believe it's the exact same thing. And it was. There's a car in the infield with the American flag had its door facing traffic. Count them down to yourself this time. Start it now. Five, four, three, two, one, Great job. There's your, your range. Complete lap number six. Halfway through. 28 your leader. Second spot is the 55. Third, it is, I believe, the 112. He's a long way behind first and second. Bahanik is back up to fourth. Bahanik who won last time, back up to fourth, but he's a half track behind first and second. Rain into traffic as they head back toward the infield. Oh, and he gets away sideways. Good job to keep it headed back toward the inside of the racetrack. 55 running in second. About 12 car lengths behind. And the 55 gets into it with a couple lap cars. He scrapes his way through, continues on. Good job. Leader, your reign got turned around. The new leader's the 55. How's was in the 55 scrape his way through the infield, and the leader, the 28, your reign got turned around. And he slides back all the way to third. The new second place car is the 112 with Skillman. Gary turns one of the lap cars around going into the infield. And a third place car goes up in smoke. Actually, he was second at that point. Stillman goes up in smoke. Your leader is the 55. Second spot. Maybe the 777 Bahonic now. Indeed it is. And that's for the 112 Skillman. He stopped on the inside of the racetrack, the front end was aimed right at oncoming traffic as we play Jeopardy.
NASCAR, not NASCAR. This is exciting. There's your leader, the number 55, across the start-finish line now. Two laps to go. Well, the other leader, guy who led a few laps of your reign, his car is dead up in the corner. Tough break for him. White flag will come out the next time by for the 55. One to go. Seeking his first win at Paris Auto Speedway, it's Cameron Perry. He could almost coast home here. Second place car is the triple seven. That's behind it, going across start finish line now. And running in third, it's the number eight, Jim Denny. Perry gonna come on the front straightaway, final time. First ever victory for the number 55, the American flag special. The win goes to Cameron Perry. Passes the Union Jack. Second spot will be the triple seven of Bohanic. And third will go to the number eight. That is Jim Denny. We're going to talk to, I believe, our top three. A lovely trophy girl, Mr. Tom Gillum. Wearing an ensemble. He purchased a Victoria car to make a whole bunch of noise. Second spot behind it, who won the last time. Jim Denny finishes third. He's out of the car. He can hear you. Make some noise. First Paris Auto Speedway win for Cameron Perry. Tom? He's got to get all pretty fight first. Got to get his helmet off, get a little something through his hair. Says he's going to do a backflip or something really crazy like that. He's got, oh, he's got a hat. See, this man's learning early. Is he going to do the backflip or are you going to do it? No, I tried that. That's why I had the back surgery. I've got you. Okay. There you are, sir. You are a main event winner, man. Congratulations on your very first one. Thank you, sir. Hey, whatever random guy gave me this lollipop and told me I was going to win, I want a lollipop every race. So listen, so you're sitting in the ground. How long have you been working at this? You've been out with us all season? No, the last, uh, this is my third race. And where did you, st uh, where'd you borrow the car? Uh, bought it for 300 bucks. Three, $300. You probably put another 12 bucks into the paint job. Oh yeah, or like four rattle cans. There you go. He's got more, he's got more in ca uh, webcams in this car than he paid for the whole car, I'm telling you. So is it just you, family, who's helping you out every week? It's me, my friends, my mom, dad, uh, brother, sister, actually standing right there. You know, Mom, he won money. Get it for rent. I'm just saying. That was a nice drive, man. You were battling pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. Finally, finally pulled one off. Last two races, haven't had the greatest luck, but. Got to run all the laps, man. Oh, yeah. You are our mini stock winner. Have some pictures taken. Congratulations. Thank you. Hang on while the old guy with the back makes his way down this way. You, sir, were leading for just long enough. They just got me turned around, but I don't know. Made some ground back up, so it feels real good. So you've had this car here before with us, right? Yeah, yeah. The very last race I was here racing it. And that was your first race with that car? Yep. It's still looking pretty straight. Uh, still pretty straight. She's got some big bars going through her, thanks to my dad and a couple of friends for welding them in, but it's holding together pretty good. That's a Subaru for you. And you won money tonight, too. Woo! <laughs> it, it's not that much. I know, but it's a lot for this car. It is, man. Congratulations. All right? Enjoyed it.
You, sir, are not a young man for this sport with these youngsters that are running around these four bangers. I know, it's like a car wreck out there the whole night. As my friend Scott in the stand says, there's a wreck just waiting for someplace to happen. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. You get turned around a couple times. Hey, I got moved out quite a few times. Uh, I did, I was jazzed my A, 88 and the triple eight were out there in the 83. They were all good. Well. You guys put on, did they put on a pretty good show for you guys for these four cylinders? Yeah! And the bad part, the good part is, is you don't live next door to him when he, neighbors wake up and go, what did he go and do? Because that thing will be on the trailer still. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we leave them out. The neighborhood's pretty good with us, driving around, testing the cars. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good with it. Must live in Norco, Scott. All right, so, <laughs> so who else? Who else is it? It's a family gig, right? Oh, it's a big family gig. Like I said, my son was out here, my daughter is out here racing the triple eight. Husband Excellent. and wife fighting each other, and a new timber new team member, the 83 came and joined with Infinite Eights. So, so, so what do you what did you pay for this car when you found it? I still owe $249 left on it. <laughs> What's it 36 months? <laughs> it's a payment plan. Well, I got 200 more to give her. <laughs> There's your next one. Listen, they put on a great show for you tonight, guys. Give them a round of applause. 